This video is from the MBKP International LLC. In this video, we're going to show you our perfect G17 Pro Elite. It comes with a cabinet stand, and basically, this cabinet stand, you got your cabinet here. It also comes with a, an extra blade. It has a blade already on it, and it comes with an extra blade. This package does. It also comes with an extra cut pad. Okay. And you can just store like paper in here, whatever you want, but it's a pretty good size storage area where you can put anything you want in here. Okay. And just close it like that. I also have a drawer here. You can put stuff in that as well. Okay. And it also, the cutter itself has this tool right here. So. And it comes with this as a tool to replace the blade. That end right there. This end you can, is used to replace the cut pad. It comes with extra screws, which is for the blade if you ever need them, if you ever strip one out or something. It comes with a tool to adjust the um, angle of the blade. It comes with a screwdriver to change the blade. And it comes with this, and this is used to, it cuts the blade so you don't cut your hand when you're changing the cut pad, and I'll show you that later. Again, this is our perfect G17 Pro Elite. You can see right here, is, is this grid is in, is in the inches, and it goes down to about one-eighth of an inch, all the numbers. Okay, we'll start right here. This is a, a locking mechanism. When you raise this handle up here, it automatically, when you watch the slavery, it'll automatically lock into place. And up here, when I pull down this lever, it's locked now. You have to release it down here to be able to move this handle down. Okay. This is the paper clamp. It's an easy one-pull paper clamp. And this is your side floating gauge. And basically, you can set this at angles if you want. Most people want to do that, but it's just very easy. Like on this, I'll demonstrate a cut. I'll put it on five inches. And you basically just line it up here on the five inch mark. And then tighten it down here. Okay, and I'll demonstrate a cut for you. Just raise this up here. You're going to have to raise both of them up. I got a couple things in here now. A couple of examples. And the way this thing's designed is when it's on this stand, it's at about, the top of this cutter is at about 26 and a half inches. Okay? And on the, when you cut something, the paper a lot of times could fall off the side, so always keep a trash can on the side to catch it. Or you can unbutt this up against like a table or something to where if you wanted it, that's that. But mainly people just want it to fall off. And um, once you get it squared in here, squared on this and on the back paper support, and you pull down the paper clamp, give it a good, couple good pushes down, you release the locking mechanism, and pull down the thing, and you come over on this side, and I'll show you if it cuts. It goes through it very easy. I didn't put, have to put any pressure on that at all. Very easy. And this is basically what it cut off. Okay, let's drop that in the trash can and show you. Put this up, and I'll show you the other end of this paper stack. It's, it does a very smooth cut. I kind of separated a little bit when I took it out, but it's very smooth to cut on this thing. I'll give you another example here. This is a whole phone book. I've already made several cuts on it, so it's pretty short now. But This is about the maximum width of what it will cut. It just barely fits in there. So let's just cut this thing about in half. Or just cut a couple inches off of it. We'll clamp this down. And we'll watch this again. Go through the... trash can. Get a better idea of how smooth the cut is on something like this. Uh, how you can see it, but it's just very smooth cut. Perfect edge on it. Okay. I'm just going to show you a couple things on this. This is the safety shield it comes with. It just goes just like that. I'm going to take this off for now so I can show you a few other things on it. I'm going to take out some of these tools it comes with. show you is this tool real quick. This is to change the angle of the blade. And basically it goes into here. And you would loosen this bolt up here. And then once that's loose, you can um, have the blade halfway down. You can just turn this by hand. And by turning that by hand, it just changes the angle of the blade. And then once you get where you need it, if it was ever off, it, they come preset from the factory. But if it ever got off for some reason, that's how you adjust the angle of the blade. Once you get it where you want, you just tighten this back down. And again, you just basically want this blade to to hit this back in first. And once it hits that, it just needs to be up maybe an eighth of an inch on this end. And then it will slowly go down and touch the whole thing. 
But um, that's for changing the angle of the blade. Okay. And one thing I'll show you with this tool is changing the cut path. Okay. With the blade all the way up, you use this. You can see that's an arrow on it pointing up. And you basically need to put this under the edge of the blade. under the blade, you cup it under the blade there, and then you snap it in place. And that way there's the blade can't cut you under there if you have your hand under there. You could even put that on there if you have this in storage or something. But and then from there you can um, use this tool and you basically push into this hole and it'll pop that cut pad up. Just like that. And see when you're reaching there to get it, you don't cut your fingers on the top of it up there. And you can change the there's four sides of every cut pad so you can rotate the sides but each side lasts a long time. And you just put it back in here, like so, and just push down, it snaps into place. And again, that's for the cut pad changing. Okay, and I'll go ahead and take this off now. Put it back in the bag. And let me show you, let's come around this side over here, and I'll show you the changing of the blade. With this tool here, you basically want to start. And this, there's two spots here to attach this tool to. First thing you want to do is take off a couple screws. Like you remove this screw and then you remove that screw. And then you use those screws to attach this tool right there. And there, the center um, screw is left there. Once you get this tool attached, then you just start removing the rest of the screws. And the last screw is here. You've got to have this blade down to get to it. You Right there. And you get to the last screw right there and actually be the second to last, but that's one of the screws you'd have to get to and get out. And once you get all those, you move it up. This would be the last screw left in the center. With this thing attached, you would then take out this screw and this blade would just come right out on, onto this tool. And then you would just remove, take this somewhere on your workbench, remove the blade from the tool, put another new blade on this tool and bring it right back in. Put it here, attach this screw first, and then attach, attach the others. You'd probably want to not snug down any of the screws. Get all the screws start first, most of the way in, and then once you get all the screws in, then snug them down. Very simple. It only takes two or three minutes to change the blade. That's one of the good things about these paper cutters. But again, this is a um, perfect G17 Pro Elite that comes with this stand, this cabinet stand, extra blade, extra cutting pad, extra tool for changing the blade and cut pad and adjusting the angle of the blade. This video is probably at MBKT International, LLC.